10 things Starfield should add to the game. Number 10, Immersible Water. This seems like a missed opportunity. And maybe games like Ark or even GTA or Fallout 4 for crying out loud have me spoiled. But come on, the water is decorative at most. You can't even see through it, much less dunk your head under. And there seems to be some lore connected to it. We have a whole fishing town in Neon with sea creature carcasses hanging. Jump in the water, you're walking on it like Jesus. Doesn't really make sense. Number nine, stronger environmental effects. This may seem like a callback to a previous point I made about survival mode, but this is a sticking point for me, so I will expound. Imagine, if you will, acid rain that actually does burning damage, or wind affecting the trajectory of your shots, or rain having an effect of laser or particle weapons. How about heat making guns overheat? Slippery sheets of ice on some planets? Something to think about. Number eight, better commerce. If the game is gonna become a grind and we're supposed to sit with it, live with it, make a way to earn the credits more interesting. Bethesda's done it before, allowing players the ability to either build your own store or invest in existing stores to permanently increase their spending money. At least the investing. Ideally, add some type of option in outpost building and have ships land nearby and NPCs come through or something. The bigger your outpost, the bigger the ships that can land. Number seven, online mode. If there was some way for my friends to experience my bases or my ships or go on missions with me or meet me on planets, that would be cool. If there was an environment where I could just bump into random people in space, that would be even cooler. Instead, I have to settle for making videos and sharing them, which I love, or passing my controller, which I hate. Number six, proper night and day cycles. This applies mostly to stores. Just like Skyrim, I wish they closed at some time and the NPCs needed sleep and breaks and aren't always available. I would believe it more in Fallout where synths can masquerade as people, but here in Starfield where the suggestion of a humanoid robot doesn't even exist, it doesn't make sense to not have the NPCs be more human. This applies to animals too. I don't know how deep it goes, but some animals should be available only at night and vice versa. These cycles should also affect the climate. Some planets should get much colder or warmer. Number five, fleshed out melee. I don't have footage of melee in this game. I haven't made a melee build. The lack of weapons or opportunity with stealth being so bad has convinced me to go a different direction. What I have done of melee so far, I'm not fond of. That is all. Number four, tameable creatures. Maybe pets? Allied alien creatures? Creatures you could turn into cattle or even ride? Bigger animals, maybe? What's the biggest alien creature you've encountered while exploring? I imagine some of the boss level creatures on missions are the biggest in the game. Has anyone seen anything close on the planets? I heard a planet called, or a moon called Sparta 4 has dinosaurs. I'll be exploring that very soon with you guys. And here's another great segue. Number three, ground vehicles. Some way to travel on these planets is essential. Again, maybe the animals or aliens on these planets could work. Maybe some of these mechs could come back into the play. Maybe part of the Crimson Tide storyline or expanded version of it in a DLC like Nuka World. A way to fly on these planets would be cool also. We can make huge rockets that can achieve orbit on planets with stronger gravity than Earth. Look, we cannot achieve flight on these planets with smaller engines. Like, why can't we fly with the jetpacks? Just make that a ridiculous achievement or perk to achieve, some end game type of thing, and let the goats fly around. Number two, more romanceable NPCs. Sarah is annoying, 
Andreja is awesome. I'm not trying with Barrett or Sam. I just wish there were more options. It would facilitate immersion in RP. There's no shortage of characters to fill this role. You could even give some of them similar speech cues. Just, you know, just add more to the immersion. And number one, playable mini games like pool and darts. I can't say much more, but I'll try. A lot of other games they could take advantage of. Maybe some arcade type games. Maybe they could add a gaming console or a tablet. Did gaming die with music? Maybe even an option to watch a film. Something else to pass the time. Maybe cards with a follower. Or cards in a bar on a planet. Some Gwent type of game. Bowling. Maybe some type of race. Races that involve the jetpacks. Well, those are 10 things I think Starfield should have added. Or that I hope they add in the future. Thanks for watching.